today on the menu is this roast beef melt filled with tender braised chuck roast, melted Swiss, caramelized onions on a toasty sesame seed bun. And the best part is that it's all using leftovers. Definitely nice to be able to make a really good meal for yourself and clean out the fridge. A win-win in my book. Let's get into the recipe. Super simple. All this is is chuck roast, onions, garlic, black pepper, salt, braised for about four hours. And this is the leftovers from the dinner the other day. And all I'm gonna do is get a pot and just reheat this on medium heat until this gets nice and soft and all the, the jus melts and the beef gets nice and tender. I have um, a little bit of leftover onion that I'm gonna slice up, top, bottom. Boom. All right, get a little bit of oil in the pan, nice hot pan. I just wanna get just a little bit of color on these. You know, since this is gonna be a leftover sandwich, you really don't wanna spend, you know, too much time on it. Just one of those kind of gimme dishes the day after that you can make, you know, a quick lunch with, have fun with it, and don't have to, you know, overthink it. I'm gonna add a little bit of malt vinegar, some Worcestershire sauce. You want to hit it with just a little bit of water every now and again. And that's going to lift some of that color right off the bottom of the pan. But if you want to make this really, really rich, you can add just a little bit of that beef jus. Yeah. A little bit of black pepper. And a pinch of salt. And these are done. Heat off. There's just one leftover bun from hamburgers the other day brioche bun with sesame seeds. And I'm gonna put it on this tray. A little bit of the mayo, some homemade mayo that I have. I might do a video on that. I actually need to make a little bit more and I'm gonna spread just a little bit of the mayo on the bun before I toast it. It's just gonna further add to the richness of this, this beef melt or the short rib melt. All right, so in the broiler, this goes to toast up. Also, I'm gonna add some chervil that I've been growing to my onions, because sometimes it's nice just to add a little bit of pop of green, a little freshness to the onions. And I just love chervil. It's almost like a mix between parsley and fennel. So it has just a little bite of licorice to it. Give this a good chop. Good to go. All right. All right, that's nice and toasty. And this is the easy part. Stack it really good. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. Okay. I'm gonna do some Swiss cheese, two slices, in the oven. And that is a beautiful roast beef melt. I gotta say, leftovers can be quite an amazing thing. So now it's time to taste this. Ooh, this looks good. Mmm. Mmm. Dang. Mm. Whoa. Man, that's good. It's amazing if leftovers just kind of pass you by and you don't, you know, take advantage of them. This is a prime example. To be a little creative, it's amazing what you can do with leftovers. Mmm. Flavor pack, tender, caramelized onions, sweet, savory, melty cheese, crispy bun. This was fantastic. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, follow, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, folks.